Ashley here. Make sure to like, follow, and subscribe so you can get all of my fun crafty videos. So today's layout was actually inspired by my friend. She sent me this neat like rainbow layout. I thought that was really cool. Um, and so I am using this watercolor technique. Okay. So um, you add your watercolors and this is actually the um, just a piece of popcorn wrapper. It is my favorite thing to use for mixed media. It's the right size, works great. You can also use like a page protector or um, if your paper, like Close to My Heart paper comes in a um, plastic bag um, that you seal, you can always cut one of those apart and use that. But you simply mix your watercolors and place them onto your paper. You do want to have some water, you want it to be wet enough. And then what you're going to do is you kind of um, rub it around on your piece of plastic and then you can see I am placing it down and I kind of run my fingers across the plastic um, for my first pass. Uh, you'll see that in a moment. So you can see I'm mixing some colors. Close to my heart has a lot of different color charts. So you can see how I run my fingers lightly over it so that I'm not getting a huge blob and then I pick it up do another pass and another pass until I've kind of used up all the colors. Now, um, normally I just will add the new color on top and mix in, but I really wanted this rainbow transition. So I kind of cleared, uh, cleaned it off each time. Um, and then I'm just using my water brush to kind of pick up the colors, squeeze it out, makes it super easy as you can see. Um, so that is my base. So it's going to be this rainbow watercolor. And then, um, originally, the inspiration photo that she sent me is, um, I love my mixed media mat. It is the best for everything, any mixed media. Okay. That way you do not get your table a hot mess. I just use a baby wipe a lot of times to wipe anything off of it after. Um, but the one she sent me was like, I think it was like, um, like five or six portraits across and that doesn't fit the photos I was trying to do. So I decide instead of doing like these squares and, and rectangles behind my photos, um, I am going to do a rainbow hexagon. I don't know. I just, I love hexagons. I think they're so much fun. So I went and cut a variety of um, uh, kind of small and, and medium hexagons and I'm playing with how do I want them to transition across the page. So then I have my photos and I tried to kind of like pick photos that had those matching colors in them so you can see the ones that have more reds and oranges are on the left side and then the ones that have some more of those blues in it are on the right um you can't really tell that far right one has like rainbow flags hanging so i thought that was perfect for this particular layout um they weren't popping very much so i wanted to put some um black mats behind them and then i did my title with that and then i decided to go ahead and glue these suckers down. Now, um, when I'm gluing my hexagons down, I, I never put them actually next to each other. I like to do like about a quarter of an inch gap between all of them. And I think it just really makes it uh, have a fun look. Plus, you can see that mixed media with that matching ink color, uh, or I guess it's watercolor color, behind it. And so it really kind of has this, this, this cool effect. Okay. Um, so as I build this up, I kind of place my photos and then I'm adding and removing like little extra pieces. Um, those overhangs, you can see, I am just like straight up trimming it off. And I decided I wanted to bring in some more black. So um, I tried just doing, I think it was like a quarter of an inch off two sides. And you know what? I needed the full quarter um, around the whole thing. And that really kind of helped make it pop and it ties in those photo mats, my title, um, and you can see when I'm done, it'll actually add in some black acrylic stars to kind of tie it off. Now, I really didn't want to add too much more to this page because I feel like the background and those hexagons kind of just really sell it itself. Okay. Um, so you can see originally um, I had some squares down and I even took some out if they were going to be covered by a photo. No reason to, to put them down. Um, so you can kind of see as I'm gluing my pattern, I have my photos. You can see that little um, random uh, blue one at the bottom there. It's just completely like hovering. So it looks like I have them behind there, but I didn't have to waste cutting the extra ones or I was able to kind of move them around a little bit better. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm cutting them down. One thing I do want to point out is there is one yellow one that kind of uh, goes across the page. 
Um, so I have that, I created it where uh, if it was full and those pages were next to each other, that would have been the shape, okay? So um, I'm gluing down my Cabo Wabo. So those are just done with some thin cuts. Um, I absolutely love that font. Uh, I think it's so much fun for your bigger, bolder titles. Um, and then the last thing I did on this, like I said, was I added those acrylic stars and I think it really just makes it pop. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, make sure to like, follow, subscribe. Ooh, and join my Facebook group for all the fun lives, giveaways, and of course, more inspiration. Like always, craft on you guys.